I, I say again, welcome to this. Um, I try to do this authentic video of the situation in Nimba County. I'm right now in Nimba, and uh, this is a uh, Nimba Zuegi Road, and we see a lot of things, a lot of rumors, a lot of stories, some pro-government stories, or anti-government or opposition of government stories. All of these things, we see pictures and people dispute them. So I decided to take a trip on the road from Ganda to Tampa to understand exactly what is happening along the road. How good is the road? How bad is the road? Uh, as you are aware, our president in the State of the Nations address, he told us that there will be no car that will get stuck on a major road in Liberia in the first 100 days. So which means even when the 100 days finish, we will have a better time even going very far uh, or moving forward. So, but then this is the situation. This is a sad reality. Uh, my fellow librarians, it's good for all of us to see these things for ourselves. These are impacts of decisions we make. Um, again, when library is better, library is better for all of us. Um, on this road, when your car comes on this road, the, the mud will not say, I, I will not hitch or you know the party car and only the CDC person car will hitch or the, uh, what you might call it, the Tiawan Gonglo supporter car will hitch. No, the mud is going to affect all of us. The road condition is so deplorable. Like I, I, I interacted with somebody along the route to say that their car has been a week in here and they've not been able to get it out. So the frustration, so imagine you are getting your goods to the market, perishable goods like your pepper, you're planting, you're building up all these things. I've got it right here on the road. They get right and get right here. So, these are uh, first -hand information, authentic. This is not politics. Um, it's reality. We talk all of these things, but at the end of the day, Liberia remains. Liberia is for all of us. And when this country gets better, it gets better for all of us. When the country is poor, it's poor for all of us. When things prices go up, when you go to the market, they don't tell you that. The supporter of George Weah has a different price. The supporter of Waka has a different price. All of us feel these things. So I take upon myself to do this and give you real present information. Gentlemen, I wish you luck, man. Yeah, I wish you luck. I hope it, the car can get off that place. Wow. I think we're going to Grand Gina. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, all the came from. Uh, yeah. That girl gotta be with them. So, we're here. Uh uh. But, but man, you wanna go join me now in the mud? No, I will say that. But the mud said, I will say that. Oh man. Yeah, but I will say that. I will try it. So, you can see for yourself, it's crazy it's freaking crazy this is unbelievable but people always sit down like you know it's crazy people who are getting enjoying the money they have given a position some of them making twenty thousand forty thousand per month out of the tax free money then they will sit on facebook and post picture for somewhere that is not even a rule some kind of drastic photo somewhere far and say oh yeah uh president Baga town no car can he's on the road again Baga has faced all of the roads in liberia they we too the supporters were there clapping for the people when we are actually suffering but we say they clap for them because we feel we voted for somebody now anything you should defend it this is not it does not make any sense this country is our responsibility everything for this country is for all of us and when we take our money we put it in one person here to take care of the country that person should do it right, right. the people you see in government we are the one who paying them you see another car right here, but there will be no car be stuck in Liberian Road. But see another one. This is a serial mud in here. So this is crazy. It's actually crazy. So I'm here to give you a first hand information of the situation along the Nimba Grand Jida Road. The Nimba Grand Jida Road is deplorable. It's not the only good areas you will see the places that we have put the quota. Because the no quota was being built from Ganta. So exactly be, and then subsequently the urban project and all the donor funding project can start from exactly being and further. But this is crazy. But some of our brothers and sisters will still come and defend this. 
Where, no matter how you say the Moon River or in America or wherever, you have families who need these roads to commute, who need these roads to earn their livings. People goods are getting damaged along the road. Imagine if you were a pepper planter, you have a pepper farm, and you drive one camera without a pepper going. All your market gotta go to, you gotta take your plantain to the market or to Monrovia. They stay on this road and get ratty. This is the situation. But we sit in Monrovia and then we, we want to make politics out of everything. We want to defend everything. I don't know what kind of human being. How do you sleep when you look at reality affecting you, your people? For the people who are eating the money for their own, they are evil and they're defending their evil money and they eat it. But what about you, the ordinary person? What kind of drug or medicine? What kind of charm? What kind of hair? What medicine? What wish they use on you that yourself think that they, you will be seeing it and you bury your own sanity, you bury your own conscience and want to defend such. But we are in it. This is very disturbing. This is disturbing. And I come to you today is why, brother. What do we do? Why you here? Turn it on the four. Turn it on the four because somebody might say, okay, no, this is since or Joe we are down road, right? It's crazy. You see now, you will see fleet of cars will come and they all have fred to get anywhere on the road. People, I don't know, bro. It's crazy.